everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a bit of a first impression style video. It's not entirely first impressions because I have tried a few items from Monkey. I have three pieces that before this haul that I had from Monkey but I haven't got a lot of experience in terms of the sizing. One of the pieces that I have from Monkey is a green jumpsuit and I did have to um, order that again in another size because the sizing didn't fit. So this is the first time I'm going to be trying like an abundance of monkey clothing just to check the sizing because I have a sneaky little feeling that the sizing isn't all what it seems. As a disclaimer I just wanted to say that some of these products were gifted to me by Monkey, but the rest of them I bought myself. I will leave links down below for everything I feature in this video, including like accessories and shoes and what I'm wearing now. And yeah, okay, shall we get into it? So the first item is actually this one that I'm wearing. I absolutely love it. You can tell, I'm gonna put a little cutaway here anyway, because I filmed one, but um, I love it. I've already featured it on Instagram as well. And yeah, I really, really like this top. So this was quite a surprise for me because I'm quite a big chested girl, I'm a 32 E cup and I kind of thought to myself I'm going to try this one out because I've got quite a big chest and I can never find cute little crop tops that like hold everything in, I wouldn't be able to wear comfortably throughout the day without it being in the back of my mind that my boob might pop out. So I ordered this in a size medium and I feel like it really was the perfect fit. I feel like the material itself is not see-through like at all. It's like a stunning cottony poplin and it's nice and thick and it covers you up. I love that about it. Also, this is fully adjustable so you can untie it and tie it as tight or as loose as you want it to be. And the sleeves are a lovely puff sleeve which you can like bring up if you want to make it like a super puffed like crop sleeve. So you can do that as well. So you can wear it as like a crop. So it has a lot of versatility and I really, really love the fit. I love the way it looks and I've had so many compliments on it already. It's unbelievable and I feel like this is going to be a really nice summer staple for me this year. Now I really, really did like this like print when I saw it on the website. I think that the blue flowers are really cute. It's very ditzy and summery and you know very very feminine and cute so I thought I would pick up the dress version of this top it's like a little poplin mini dress and in the dress I did end up going for a size small just because it's that sheer material and I wanted it to be able to stretch and not be too loose on me in the first place because I do feel like materials like this do stretch over time so I got this one in a size small small and I do think the fit is really nice. Sorry for the fact that in the cutaway I did use a bag strap to make a belt because I didn't have one on me and I hope it looks okay. I really really love this dress. I think it is a little bit long on me but because the pattern is so flirty and feminine like the oversized look is actually quite cute like I think I can get away with it. I think this is going to be so comfortable to wear with a nice pair of sandals and a denim jacket in the summer. It is so lightweight like the material of both of these is the same and it is a really nice lightweight cotton material. It's very very breathable. I think I really am going to get wear out of both of these pieces just because the pattern is so versatile and the material is so lightweight and comfortable that to me is definitely worth it and I will be getting so much use out of these. So as you'll probably be able to tell from these first few pieces, Monkey is very good at taking one material and making it into a variety of shapes, cuts and fits. So for instance, this also comes with matching shorts, it also comes in that dress and it also comes in a cheaper jersey style um, tie up top as well with the same print. So they also have a line of green gingham pieces and green gingham is one of those things that I really shouldn't like but I really do. It's a bit like Marmite, some people think it's too much but I absolutely love it and I have no idea why. So I picked this one up in a size small also. It is exactly the same fit of dress as the previous one. It has the puff sleeves, it has the sheared waistline and the length is the same. One thing I would say is that I am a size 10, maybe a 12 because of, you know, this was still a little bit big on me in a small. I think it's the materials. So this material is more like that cotton material that doesn't really give very much. But this material is like a sear sucker material. And for some reason that does mean that it just is a little bit large. Like it just does, does come up a little bit big. So even for me, the small in this 
um, it's just a bit too big. I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I also feel like the length in this is way too long for me. I feel like even if I belted this, it wouldn't give that cool girl look you kind of need to pull off this green gingham. So I don't think I'll be keeping this one. I'll be sending this one back. If it was a little shorter and I guess I would have to order an extra small in this as a size 10. If you're quite tall, you might be able to order this and get away with it. But smaller sizes, you're going to struggle with this because it was quite loose on me and it's not the most flattering fit. Speaking of not a flattering fit, I ordered this top uh, when it came back into stock on ASOS and I had had it like favorited on ASOS for so long and this was the first piece that I picked up out of all of this. Being a 10 to 12 and usually being a size medium in places like Zara for example, I automatically ordered this in a medium and really I should have ordered it in an extra small, a small and a medium and tried them all on and I'm gutted I didn't because now it's out of stock and it hasn't been back in stock for weeks now and I'm really, really gutted I didn't order this in multiple sizes. I was so sure a medium would fit me and look at it. It's, it's really big. As soon as I took this out of the bag, I was like, they've sent me the wrong size. They've absolutely, oh no, no, it's it's a medium. It's really, really quite large. You'll probably see in the VT, I was like. Like, it's just not, like the sizing is so off on this piece. What I think might be happening is Monkey does a lot of the same pieces in different prints and a lot of prints in different pieces. And I think that they're using the same, the same sizing cuts for each piece irrelevant of the material. You can get this top in a variety of materials and colours and I think maybe they're just using the same measurements for the sizes irrelevant of the material. This material just it, it just is a little bit more loose, it just hangs a little bit more loosely and maybe the sizing needs to be adjusted for it but this one was way too big. I think if I did reorder this I would need it in an extra small and again I'm a size 10 and an extra small would be my size so a little confusing irrelevant to that like I do think this top is really cute I think it's absolutely adorable and I'm so 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 gutted I didn't order it in like multiple sizes I think in the VT as well I tied it up at the back like I held it and it did look really nice like I would be able to keep this and tie it up at the back or tie it up at the front but the whole look is supposed to be that like tight to the body sheared look that you can like tuck into shorts and stuff and I think that it wouldn't work like hanging out like that but I'm really gutted about this piece guys Okay, okay, I know. Before you say it, yes, it's another green gingham piece from Monkey. This one I did order in a 38, which is a UK 12. So I did get this skirt with the intention of wearing it with the green sheared gingham top, but I would have had to have sized up in this skirt and sized down twice in the top to get a matching set that fits. So I feel like the sizing is very irregular and a bit strange, like you'd have to order multiple sizes so I would be wary of that if you do order online but the size 12 in this fit me fine it is a tiny tad bit see-through but nothing you can't deal with by wearing some nude underwear that is totally fine it is seersucker material so it is it isn't like completely opaque so that's to be expected I love the wrap fit I think it looks so cute with a little white crop top that's going to look adorable some sandals white crop tops sunnies I'm feeling it. Days where you don't want, you know, all of your leg out. This is a perfect, comfortable alternative. And I really, really love this piece. I will definitely be keeping it and wearing it with lots of white, I think. Next up is another wrap skirt. And I don't really know how to feel about this skirt because it is absolutely adorable, gorgeous. Love the print. I mean, look at the print. It's like yellow daisies. And I got this in the same size. So this is a very similar wrap dress to the previous one, but instead this one has like two ties that are more like strings and the other one has like proper material like this that you tie up. So it's very similar in shape, it's a similar wrap style skirt and I got this one in a 12 also which is a 38 in Monkey and I love it. I love the ruffles, I love the colour, I love the print, but my god is this see through. So I put this on to do the cutaway and I turn around to look in the mirror and I like to keep the tags on on stuff like this so I can show you guys how see-through something is when it's on me so you guys will be able to see the tag through it, right? I'm wearing nude underwear, like the nude underwear I wear all the time and it's my swear by like go-to nude underwear that I can't see it through anything 
and you can see it through this. I do not know how it happens, but you can. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, but I can see my underwear in the mirror through this skirt. So that leaves you with two options really. Wear this without underwear, or just go with the fact that people can see even nude underwear through this. It's a bit of a situation. But then again, when I did walk in the room and I said, Alex, can you see my underwear? He just like glanced at my bum and went, no. So I don't know whether it's just because I'm looking for it or I know it's there that I can see it. I hope that makes sense to you guys. But I love the colour, I love the fit and everything else about it is absolutely perfect. So if you're going to pick this one up, keep in mind that it is pretty see-through and you will have to have some bomb ass nude knickers to wear with this. Right, we have another skirt. We've got more gingham. I saw this skirt online and I just had to have it. I really am into like the slip mini skirt so I picked this one up. It's got like a flap here with the slits and yeah it's just a little mini skirt like that. I did pick this up in a 38 as well so this one's a size 12 and guys this was tight, this was short and I was confused so again like with the sizing in Monkey, I, mm -hmm. this is a 38 and a size 12 and it was definitely digging at my waist, it was very tight, it was riding up my bum. I think that it looks cute like if you look at the uh, cut away of me you'll probably be like damn she looks quite good like that's cute that looks nice I wouldn't be able to walk very far without it like slowly riding up I would constantly have to be like walking and pulling it down um and that's just not comfortable and practical to me and I'm a bit confused at the sizing so if I'd have to reorder this I have to reorder it in a UK size 14 I don't know how to feel about that I think it is really cute will I be reordering a size 14 maybe maybe because it is very very cute but all in all i think the print is really really nice i love the cut i love the fit i would just have to size up if i want to keep this one and i, I have a feeling it's out of stock so we will see okay guys so there is an explorer shorts trend going on at the moment and as a mid-size petite gal i was so against it and i was like oh my god i just don't think that i could pull that off they are long shorts, I've got thick legs, they're not very long, they are very very short. Um, is the short going to fit to my whole leg because they'll end up just looking like cropped clothes at that point. But I thought I would try some from Monkey because I found these ones which are tailored. I thought these would be a good alternative to the straight up and down explorer style short because they have these pleats built in which are very very flattering so the pleats help make the shorts come out a little bit so you have a little bit of flare not too much but I love them I really really love them I put them on and I was like Alex these are so comfortable I'm not gonna get any chub rub these are such a nice color like, they're kind of like a cream ecru color and they have pockets and they have a belt loop. I am very, very into them, which I never thought I'd say. Dora Explorer who? Because I am I'm completely, completely converted. So I did actually pick these up in an EU 40, which I think is between a size 12 and a size 14 in the UK. And that is way larger than I would normally buy in these shorts. I would usually buy a 10 to 12 fit but these fit perfectly. So I would say that if you're looking for some really good like Bermuda Explorer style shorts, size up on Monkey because these are like, the fit is dreamy. The fit is so dreamy. And I can't believe I've been converted. Monkey, what have you done to me? Next up, I have a little bikini top. <gasps> I know, I've, I've been absolutely loving bik wearing bikini tops as crop tops because they're just a lot more comfortable because they're all elasticated. Um, and I picked this one up because I thought the print was adorable. It's this little like pottery kind of print with some palm trees and stuff. The one on the website had a lot more going on on the front than mine. Mine's a bit plain, but I kind of like that. Um, you, it's just random obviously, whichever cut of the material you get. But I did pick this one up in the end in a UK medium. And like I said before, I'm a 32E cup chest and this fits me fine. It's nice and tight quite supportive actually. I was very, very happy with this. The straps are nice and thick. I don't know if you can tell by me doing that, but they've got really good elastic to them and they're also adjustable. And I think that this top is just so cute. I'm gonna call it a top because I've been wearing it as a top, but it is absolutely adorable. I think this would look really cute with those Explorer shorts, with a satin midi skirt. You could also wear this with a little black mini and a little denim jacket. I think it's gonna look so, so cute as a top. 
and also if I get my hands on the bikini bottoms which I think are out of stock as well I am going to have a set to wear as a bikini set as well so I'm very very happy with this piece. The last clothing piece I have to share with you guys is this gingham top so they had this style gingham which is a blue gingham which I also really really like not as much as the green but I still really like it it is the same seersucker material as the green items I showed you guys earlier and they have a line of like the blue gingham so there's like blue gingham shorts blue gingham trousers blue gingham, gingham this and my thought in mind was to get a few blue gingham pieces to make co-ward sets but everything is going out of stock so fast um I can't find anything at the moment that fits me that will go with these but I'm really hoping they bring stuff back in stock online in my size so that I can pick up some shorts or some trousers to go with this because I think it would make such an adorable little set it's very Dorothy and I love it but it is like a crop top and it has a lovely little puff sleeve. This one is all business in the front and all party in the back. The back is literally open and you just tie them up. You'll probably be able to see it better on me than me showing you like this, but you just tie up each string. There's like three sets of the, the ties at the back and you just tie them up and it makes a little crop top. And I really like the fact that this one is fully adjustable so you can do up the ties as tight or as loose as you need them but I did pick up a size 12 anyway which is a 38 I kind of wish I sized down in this because again the material everything just seems a little bit looser in this material so I wish I got a 36 which would have been a 10 but I can tie it up at the back so it's not too big of an issue I really really do like this top I think with a pair of white denim jeans this is gonna look absolutely adorable but again I really hope they bring some blue gingham like matching pieces back online in my size because I really really do want another piece to match this I think it would be the most adorable set ever so these are the only pair of shoes that I picked up. I got these ones on ASOS because they've been sold out on the Monkey website for a very long time. So I thought I'd pick them up. They're like a square toe mule with daisies on the front. And I just thought that these this would match like a lot of my daisy dresses. I've bought a lot of daisy items, like daisy dresses, daisy skirts and stuff. And these would match them. So I picked up a size five and I'm usually a four and a half. So I could either go for a size four or a size five, but I decided to size up. And these are still a little too small for me. I do have wide, small feet, um, and this mesh material has no give to it. So I actually can't fit my foot in properly. It's My feet are just too wide. So I would recommend getting these if you have thinner feet um, or normal width feet, they're probably fine. But on me, they just, they're just too tight. And I'm really, really, really sad that they don't fit because look at that square toe. Look at that tiny little heel. Look at the daisies and the mesh I'm just so sad that these don't fit but hopefully when I return them these will go to a good home someone who absolutely loves them too I'm so sad you guys don't fit parting is such sweet sorrow I also picked up this gingham headband I hope you guys can see that online it looked a lot more lilac and in between the lilac I thought it was white right but um, when it arrived I realized that it's definitely more of a pink lavender color and then in between, it's a yellow. Let me see if I can show you guys. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell, but in between the purple is yellow. It's not white, it's definitely like a yellow color. And then the lilac itself isn't lilac, it's more of like a pinky fuchsia color. I still think that it is very cute and I will probably wear it. It's only on close inspection. I also thought this would be a better material, but it's kind of like a synthetic foamy type material. So I don't think the quality for me, it's all there in terms of this headband. It's not how I imagined it to be, but um, the style is very, very cute. I think it was like eight pounds, which is quite inexpensive, but I mean, it is, you know, almost a tenner on a headband. It is nicely padded. It does feel like it would be very comfortable, but I'm not sure on the material or the color as well. I feel like it just wasn't that gonna be this color or this material when I ordered it online so I'm not sure I think I still will wear it it will look very cute for photos and like just in every day but like up close um yeah it's it's an odd material um choice for this this headband I think so the last clothing accessories piece in this haul is something I'm really excited about because I haven't really bought any kind of patterned socks or anything like that but they're coming back on trend so I thought I'd pick up some of their socks these are organic and cotton blend which I love because it means they're going to be very comfortable very breathable I hate wearing synthetic socks then your feet get all, all sweaty and horrible I, I can't deal with that so 
I picked up these socks. I'm gonna come in closer. So I picked up these socks in neon stripes and I just think that they are adorable. How cute is that color? These feel amazing. The quality is so, so good. I am shook. They feel super, super soft. Okay, so they're 65% cotton, which I love, and 30% polyester. So, oh my God, I am so excited to wear these. They look so comfortable and for the money, I think these are really, really good quality. I'm quite, quite shocked there. If you are watching this on the day it goes up, this is actually World Menstrual Day. So Monkey have sent me a little something to help me on my menstrual cycle. This is the Lunette Reusable Menstrual Cup. Now I've never ever used a menstrual cup, but I will give it a go. It is very cute, it's all pink, and it has little instructions on the back. So I will be giving this one a go. I love the fact that these are eco-friendly because you reuse them. There is no waste, there is no tampon, there is no pad, there is nothing like that. Monkey have donated 3.5 thousand menstrual cups to the Cup Foundation, which I think is just absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Monkey. For every Lunette cup sold, Monkey donates one more of these to the Cup Foundation. A lot of young women throughout the world have to stay home from school or work when they get their period. And the Cup Foundation is working to change that by helping young women to stay in school and work even when they're on their periods. No one should be missing out on their potential just for a natural bodily function. If you want to shop the Lunette Menstrual Cup, I'll leave a link down below. It may seem a little expensive at first, but it's made of medical grade silicone, which lasts for 10 years. So once you buy this product, you can use it safely for 10 years. That's a lot of periods. And also Monkey will be donating one of these to the Cup Foundation thanks to your purchase. Right, okay guys, that is everything in this first impressions video. It was a journey, let me tell you that. One thing that I have learned about Monkey from this experience of trying um, a lot of items from the brand is that there isn't a lot of like size cohesion throughout the whole brand. It just seems a bit like, you could choose a random size and it might fit you type situation. I was a size 14 in one item, I would be an extra small in the other item, I'm a small in one item, I'm a size 12 in another item. I am all over the place with sizing in Monkey and I don't think it would be just me. I think that everyone has in their mind kind of like the standard size that they would go for in a shop. Like if I'm buying a t-shirt, I'll buy a size 12 because I like to size it up. If I'm buying shorts, I'll buy a size 12 because I like to size them up. If I'm buying a dress, I'll usually buy a 10. If I'm buying something that is kind of a letter sizing, I will usually buy a medium. So everyone has their sizing that they kind of know in their head is gonna fit them. Nothing I ordered was any, like, in my normal size. Like, it, I would have to size up, size down in, like, everything. And I don't know how I can be a size 14 in a pair of shorts and then in one of the tops be an extra small when my normal size is a size 10, sometimes a 12. So it's very, very different in terms of, in terms of sizing. Work needs to be done. But in terms of design, monkey you are on it like this the everything that i got i loved the pattern of i loved the design of i loved the fit like the style of the fit of everything it's all designed so well the materials the colors the everything is so good just the sizing i would recommend to all of you if you're going to pick up a piece from monkey whether that be on a site like ASOS or on the Monkey website, I would suggest maybe picking up a few different sizes and trying those on because I feel like going forward, I will always buy more than one size in anything I want from Monkey just in case it doesn't fit me because that green gingham top, I dream of that green gingham top. I am still beating myself up about the fact that I didn't order in multiple sizes when it was in stock in every size when I ordered it and I chose that one. I should have, if I'd have known like what I know now, I would have probably ordered a size smaller and then a size smaller than that. But then again, in a lot of these other pieces, I've had to size up and get a size 12 and a size 14. So if you're unsure, I would definitely get a few sizes, try them on. You can always return them if they don't fit. And I think that is how I'm going to go forward with ordering from Monkey. Let me know which piece was your favourite in the comment section down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.